Hello, I'm Andrew and I'm with Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the mass action function button in Zoho CRM with Deluge. Um, so this is typically a button that gets put on the report page uh, in Deluge uh, in Zoho CRM that allows you to select a number of records and run a function on all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and hopefully it is the right screen. Yes. Okay, I'm sharing my screen and what I have here is uh, the contacts tab. You can do this on any, any tab or any module you want and I can go ahead and click this, this and this. So there is this actions thing here which is the, the built-in Zoho CRM mass actions. But let's say I want a custom action, right? So what do I do? I can, in a new tab, open up um, the settings, go to modules and fields, let's go to contacts, um, links and buttons. Um, so then when you're in links and buttons, you're gonna wanna click new button. Now I'm just gonna see it. This one, the mass action button, mass action button. And let's go ahead and we're gonna put this on the list view, mass action, mass action menu. Click that and then we're gonna click um, write, writing functions, mass action demo. And let's copy and paste this and create. Now, I'm just gonna save this. I'm going to click save to show you. So now when I go back to, to the contacts module and I refresh and I select a few of these, you'll see there's this mass action button and I can click on that. And right now it does nothing. So it successfully did nothing. So for this use case, let's imagine we want a mass action button to identify contacts that are related to our favorite contact here, elongated muskrat, all right? So um, elongated muskrat, I already have a tab open for it. Um, you'll see here, they're related to SolarCity, SpaceX, and more, and that would be Tesla. And so in our contacts, I want to find out all the contacts that are related to one of those accounts. So let's go ahead and edit this mass action button. Click edit. We're gonna edit the function in the mass action. Now that we're in here, let's start with some code architecture. Now, first thing you're gonna to wanna to know is um, when you click a mass action button is the um, records come in in uh, one string. So let's do the first thing to say parse out ID strings, okay? And then, all right, we'll say into list. And number two is for each uh, contact in the list. Then we want to say for each of those contacts, check if related to elongated gated musk rats companies, right? And then we want to say, if related, add to list, right? But because there's a list here, we want to say, create list of um, people in companies. Companies. Companies, okay. So then we add to list and then finally, we wanna say the list of people. Cool. So I can save and execute this and it does exactly that, which is nothing right now. Let's make sure I have this CSI enough. All right, so let's start here. Let's go to edit arguments and I'm gonna go ID list as the argument and then the value here, give me contacts, contact ID and done. So now when I select a bunch of people and click this button, it's going to put in the IDs of those people. But the thing you need to know is it doesn't come in like 
you know, I, uh, ID equals, and then, then the ID, right? Or it, it separates it by pipes. So let me show you how you're going to um, process this. Let's go uh, ID, let's go updated ID list equals ID list dots to list, and then it's three a pipe here. Let me see if I can CSI that a little more. It's just that up and down line, it's shift and then the, the slash. So let's CSI out. Nope, we're CSIing in. It's gonna be big and readable. So uh, now that we have that, we have the ID list, we're gonna say um, list of, create a list, a list, of contact, contacts equals list, right? For each element, copy and links, if related add to list, paste, and we want to add this update ID list. So for each contact, contact ID, be in the contact ID list, we're going to check to see if it's in Muskrat's companies. So if, let's grab the company, uh, the contact, contact, contact equals zoho.crm.getRecord by ID, we're going to choose the contacts, contact ID. So if contact dot get account, equals equals uh, we'll do that. So we're going to check first, but there's a use case here where that we want to do, and that's um, check if uh, the contact uh, is related to company. Now this is important because if we're going to say get contact and then have another dot get ID delude if there's if this is null and we do a get it's going to error out so we want to say uh, we actually want to do a null check so if contact dot accounts is not equal to null then we want to continue this. Right. So if it's not equal to null, then we want to say if it's related to one of Elon Elon's companies. This related add list. So we want to know what is Elon's companies. So he has Solar City, SpaceX, and Tesla. So we're going to grab those IDs. Here's the first one for Solar City. And let's go there. I'm going to comment it in Solar City, SpaceX, and Tesla. So now we have all three companies. Um, so now we're going to say if the contact is uh, related to a company, and the ID is this, and then let's go or, which is two pipes, and let's copy this. Copy, paste, let's get the second one here. And let's scroll over. I may have CSI a little bit too much here. There we go. Paste. And then the last one, copy. So now it says if it's related to any of these companies, Look at this next thing here. And if related, we want to add to list. So let's go up to here to our list, which is list of contacts. And let's go list of contacts dot add. And we want to add the contact dot get. And we want to add their name. So we can go to the API, CRM API. Go to the names of those APIs, API names, 
that's CSI a little bit better here. Contacts, count name, let's just search for control F, name. So we can go first name, last name, vendor name. Mm, let's go first name. Here we go. Get first name. And then finally, we want to return the list of contacts. So let's uh, first then say, uh, let's do this. Save and execute. Let's see if it's going to error. Great. So now, if I go back to here and I refresh, I am going to see out of this list of all these people, what which ones are related to um, elongated muskrat, which we're expecting to be contacts to and new CEO of Tesla, as well as elongated muskrat. Mass action, there has been an error. So let's go and see why there has been an error. <laughs> Uh, so let's start out with getting elongated muskrats and the new CEO. Let's grab their IDs. And let's separate it out by types. So we can copy and paste it when we test. Let's copy this. Let's click save and execute. Paste it in here and see what happens. And this is why you always want to check your API names. So we don't want to use account, we want to use account name, account name, account name, account name. Copy this. Paste. Great. There we go. So again, just to recap, Mass action button. So whenever you're doing anything with the mass action view, you want to uh, space everything out. You want it two lists and then three pipes, just like this, right? You're gonna want to go uh, for each and to apply to each each person in the list, and then whatever you return is actually going to be um, displayed. And so in our case.